Hi guys, today we'll learn bank loan repayment entries and here we'll see example uh, Wisdom Media is our company has taken business loan from ICS Bank or, or 36,600 so below is the installment table and tenure is one year within one year we have to repay loan and due on and due on every month 5th EMI will start from May 2006 generally for May month from 1st May to 31st May we will pay first EMI on June 5th like that every month 5th we have to pay we have to repay loan these are uh, these three ledgers are required First is ICC bank loan account and a secure lines we have to create and ICC bank interest account it's at expenses to company so created under indirect expenses and ICC bank loan payable account current liabilities current liabilities and these three ledgers already I have created in tally we'll see one by one how to post the entries okay here if you see here installment 1 2 3 4 5 12 months it's one year and month you know here june 5th so for may month emi first emi will pay on 5th of june so like that it will close on may 5th and the installment amount this is the if you add principal and interest 6000 will come and total outstanding here so finally the balance will nullified here okay this is the EMI statement generally if we'll take any loan from bank this is the format so we'll see how to post the entries in tally so based on the statement okay so already I have created the ledgers first accounting voucher and here receipt first we received loan from ICS bank ICS bank loan account that are almost 36,600 and by credited to our bank which one 36,600 SDFC bank so our bank balance will increase okay B loan taken from ICIC bank okay so we have so we will come back here go to balance sheet detailed secure loans here we will get breakup ICIC bank loan so this is the outstanding total we have to pay 36,600 okay 36,600 we have to pay so we will post accounting voucher so general every month every month end we have to post provisional entry like so if you follow accrual based system we should post this entry first I say say loan account that are how much EMI principal how much 2500 and again I say say bank interest how much 3500 and this is the so I say say bank loan payable account okay this is the 6000 is our monthly EMI okay this is so this is every month we have to post entry on 31st 5 2016 here I am using tally education mode so here date will not change but in your uh, system you can change the date okay being f 
first inst install main being table being being ICS bank loan first installment payable okay this is okay just we posted provisional entry because when we have to pay through bank 5th of June for May month we have to pay in June 5th okay and here go to payment here I say say bank payable account data six this is here we have to change the date six sorry fifth zero five zero six two thousand sixteen okay fifth of June okay here date will not change so because this is the education mode okay in your system you can change okay six thousand so here we can see balance is nullified this is the provisional uh, provision uh, earlier we posted provision entry so now we are paying from bank okay being ICIC bank bank loan first install main paid okay so come back go to balance sheet okay detailed here automatically actually we take in loan 36600 now it was reduced to 34100 so like that we have to check okay and again go to accounting voucher remaining entries we have to post okay like go to provision first if you follow accrual base definitely we should follow the accounting procedure we have to make provisional entries every month and so I say say bank loan account here we'll see 2600 and by ICICI ICICI interest account what is that 33400 this is the payable here we'll change second installment ok second installment ok again payment payable account 6000 and through HDFC bank and paid ok next go to F7 again ICIC bank next third one 2700 ICIC interest how much 3300 third install payable Okay, again payment F5 ICICI 6000 bank third installment paid 
again F7 general ICICI bank loan account 2800 and ICICI bank interest account 3200 4th installment 4th installment and again F5 ICICI 6000 okay fourth fourth installment paid again F7 ICICI bank loan account 2900 by ICICI interest account 3100 fifth fifth installment payable and go to F5 I say say payable account fifth installment paid fifth installment paid and again F7 general ICICI bank loan account principal is 3000 and ICICI interest 3000 ok this is the 6th installment payable go to F5 ICICI 6000 enter fifth sixth installment paid ok and go to F7 general I say say bank account 3100 principal I say say 2900 interest Seventh, seventh installment payable F5 I say say six thousand seventh installment payable and F7 I say say bank loan principal how much 3200 ICICI interest account 2800 8th 8th installment 8th installment payable go to F5 ICICI 6000 8th installment and F7 I say say bank loan here 3300 I say say interest how much 2700 bank right So, ninth month, ninth, and my payable F5, I say, say, 6000. Installment paid, and go to F7, I say, say, here principal is 2600 I say say 2600 
ICICI interest account how much uh, this is the 3400 and this is the 2600 10th month installment payable F5 how much 6000 10th month installment paid F7 I say say loan account how much here yeah, 3500 and I say say interest account uh, 2500 11th month settlement payable F5 I say say I say say bank uh, payable account 6000 HDFC bank ok and go to F7 general ICIC bank loan account so what is the principal 3600 and uh, ICIC interest 2400 6000 okay so now we posted 12 months entries we will see the balances first we will check the balance of ICS bank loan payable account it should nullify ok, okay. display account books ledgers here ICS account see first provisional entry against provision we paid provision paid provision paid so like that balance closing balance is zero so like that we have to repay the installment and we'll see the bank interest ICIC bank interest account okay, 30 okay bank interest so how much total interest here if you see here totals 35,400 ok here 35,400 ok here 35,400 so we will see secure loan whether that was cleared or not balance sheet detail secure loan if you see here 0 we clear balance total balance we clear if you want to see ledger wise display account books ledgers I say say loan account see we taken 36,600 and we repaid and we repaid 36,600 so we totally cleared the loan amount so like that we have to pay the repay the bank loan ok so what are the loans we have to repay in this way so in p and l this interest will affect to p and l account here profit and loss account detail if you see here bank interest ICIC bank interest 35400 ok like that we have to check the balances ok thanks for watching this video thank you